What's up, everybody? Colin Brown here with another episode of Colin's Corner for NextOnes.com. As we near the college basketball season, we go around the country talking all conferences. I'm going to give you my preseason top five, and today we start with the SEC. A lot of talent in the Southeastern Conference heading into the 2020 2021 season. Let's start at number five and work our way up. And obviously at the five spot, that's where the most controversy is going to come into play. But I have South Carolina, the fighting Frank Martins. Listen, South Carolina has actually been very solid in SEC play over the last two seasons. They return a boatload of talent highlighted by A.J. Lawson, a guy who's going to be an NBA draft pick moving forward. I think he continues or starts to command this team on both sides of the ball, becomes a prolific scorer at the college level this season. And as mentioned, a solid cast of characters around A.J. Lawson, a veteran group. I think Frank Martin will have a talented squad. South Carolina back in the NCAA tournament. They sit at number five. All right, let's move down to number four. And this may shock some people, but it's the Florida Gators. Scotty Lewis returning for Florida is a huge get for Mike White and company. I think a lot of people thought Scotty Lewis was out the door, headed to the NBA, but the youngster decides to come back to school, a prolific athlete. And I think a guy who will really take the next step in his career, a first team SEC performer in my eyes this season as a sophomore. Keontae Johnson as well, and Noah Locke, another guy to keep an eye on. They're going to expect, or Mike White is going to expect a lot out of his backcourt this season. They're going to have to put up a boatload of points. Those two, alongside Scotty Lewis, will get Florida to the four spot in the SEC. At number three, this is where it got dicey for me. I'm going with LSU. I expect Javante Smart, excuse me, and Trender Watford to be big time performers, or as Dickie B would say it, prime time performers. Javante Smart, been in the system for several years. Trendon Watford as well. I think those two will take a leap on the offensive and defensive end of the floor. And listen, LSU lost a lot of talent, but returns a lot of talent as well. Darius Day is another guy I think will take a step forward. Charles Manning, and then let's not forget, Sharif O'Neal is now a Tiger as well. So there is talent in the bayou. And I think this team will buy in together, play more as one, and LSU will be a force to be reckoned with in the SEC. They sit at number three. All right, let's hit number two, and I have the Kentucky Wildcats. Another young, talented, highly ranked class for Coach Cal. And while it may take some time for this group to gel, I think five stars BJ Boston and Terrence Clark will make an impact and emerge rather quickly. And don't forget a loaded cast of characters coming from the transfer portal as well. Wake Forest transfer Oliver Starr, Jacob Toppin, the brother of Obi Toppin, and then Davion Mintz. I think those guys will bolster the rotation early while these youngsters get their feet wet, get their feet underneath them, and learn to play together at the college level. That's why I have Kentucky at number two, a talented group. But at number one, it is Tennessee. The Volunteers, what a job Rick Barnes has done. And they are loaded with not only talent, but veteran talent. Yev Pons, John Fulkerson really came into their own last season, played so well on both ends of the floor. A rim protector in Fulkerson is key here moving forward in the SEC. And then other starters returning as well, Josiah James. And then you have to look at the talented freshman class. Excuse me, Keon Johnson and Jaden Springer, two guys that will walk in the door and see minutes right away. Victor Bailey and EJ Anaseki as well from the transfer portal. This Tennessee team is absolutely loaded. They will be atop many preseason SEC polls, and for a good reason. Rick Barnes has had some good teams down there in volunteer country. This could be the best when it's all said and done. A veteran group. I have Tennessee sitting atop the SEC in my preseason rankings. Thanks for joining us here at nextones.com. As always, check us out on all social media sites. Check me out at Next Ones, Colin on Twitter and on YouTube. Don't forget to watch all of our highlights montages as we get ready and set for the college basketball season upcoming. For everyone here at Next Ones, I'm Colin Brown. We'll see you next time. So long.